How's it going guys? So today we're going to set up a bit of a display enclosure for my young western blue tongues here. These guys are growing absolutely awesome, doing well. We've actually upgraded that enclosure on top there. They had a bit of a smaller one before. But this one's going to be a bit bigger for them so they can grow a bit more in there and just run around and do their thing. So let's get started. We're going to try and make it look like a bit of a natural desert setup for them and these guys should absolutely love it. Here's one of the little critters there. So this enclosure is a bit of an upgrade for them. They're going to have lots of good space in there until they grow up a bit more. But we're going to make it look nice and natural for them because these guys are just such a stunning little species. It's a shame to not keep them in a natural looking environment in my opinion. Now it's going to be a pretty simple setup. If you haven't seen the video a few videos back where we set up this one for my young Alpine blotched blueies, make sure you go check that one out. It's going to be quite similar to that except more of a desert theme because they're the western blue tongue. How good's that? They don't do that all that often, but the Westerns and the Centralians actually can lift their whole body off the ground and just walk on, on their little feet, which is quite an interesting looking behavior. They even straighten out their tail and sort of have it up in the air as well. He's doing it now, you can't quite see too well. It's a really cool little thing that they do. And I think in the wild, it's because the ground gets really hot potentially and they want to keep most of their body uh, from contacting that really hot scalding surface. Yeah, just a cool little behavior. It's something you don't see all that often. All right, so the first part of any setup is obviously gonna be our substrate. Now we're gonna use a mix of a couple different things, starting here with the Yuki mulch. Now the Yuki mulch is in, we're also gonna put in some nice red sand, as well as some actual crushed granite. Now I've got this stuff from Luke over at Beaches Scaly Beast, so shout out to him for that. Pretty cool looking stuff. We're gonna mix all this through. All right, so there we have our substrate. I think it looks pretty good. It's got some bigger bits in there bit of wood, a bit of sand, and uh, it's quite mimicking of their natural environment. These guys often come from more woodland or arid areas, so a bit of everything there, and uh, they should look really good on it. Now our substrate's in, let's start decorating. I've got this big, awesome, hollow piece of wood just here. Let's pop that in and see how it looks. Now this thing fits almost the entire span of the enclosure, and as you can see, if I turn it up, it's completely hollowed out. Really good piece. And I'm going to pop it all the way along like that. Bury in a bit. And now these guys should be able to climb on it, go all the way through it, feel nice and secure. There's a little crack here at the front. I'm sure they'll come out and peek out and have a nice bask under this hot 75 watt floodlight. And then now from here, I'm going to add in some plants. Uh, as always now, I don't use any fake plants. I've got some real plants that I'm thankfully enough my parents have just come back from a trip inland So they snagged me a few uh, bushy plants. I'm gonna throw in here. Let's check it out All right, so we've got a bunch of these big bushy dead plants It really looks like a desert plant that's just dried out into nothing because of the harsh environment So I'm gonna throw a few of these around I'm gonna put this one right in the back. I think Elizabeth will be able to interact with that. I'm sure they'll all climb all through it I might put another one in front, just so everything's looking a bit bushy and dense. So this is going to feel nice and safe. I think that's pretty cool. So that's about all we're going to do as far as decorations go. Like I said, I want to keep it real simple. These are still young animals. I want to be able to get them out and check on them regularly if I need to. So the more things you sort of have in there, the more difficult it can be to reach the animals and give them health checks. So last thing we're going to do is pop in a water bowl. Just over here on the cool end, right out of the way. And then we can pop in some lizards. All right, so here we have the little beauties. They're doing absolutely awesome. My favorite one's the one looking at the camera right now in the middle, he's so bright. They're such perfect bands, but I mean, they're all just incredible little animals. Westerns are some of the best blueies around, that's for sure, and I'm still so absolutely stoked that I bred these guys this year. I'm still so surprised. I was not expecting it at all. And yeah, this is why it's so worth it to make a good setup like this for them because these animals really deserve it. So let's pop them in and see how they like exploring around. So this one's probably the biggest one. It's just pumping along. This was the first baby that she popped out. There you go, buddy. 
and pop this one up here and that one down there as well and they look absolutely awesome in there <laughs> see I think they're going to spend a lot of time hiding away in that big hollow log that's fine at this age they're really quite secretive they're a bit more of a shy species in general anyway um, so that's absolutely fine but yeah they should definitely get a kick out of all this new new environment for them and that is such a beautiful little ah oh, big yawn <laughs> Oh, I love these guys so much. What a great lizard. So yeah, I'll bet in no time once they warm up, they're going to start climbing in all the plants and everything. They do actually climb around a bit, which is quite funny. They're not the best at it, but they do it. And yeah, I'm keen to see them grow in this enclosure. Absolutely awesome and adorable are those little blue tongues, hey? I'm so stoked to have them. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this setup. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see anything else, any other video ideas or setups, anything like that. Otherwise, subscribe for more Australian reptiles and things like this. And we'll see you next time.